Good evening guys, how's it going? Just on my way to the gym right now, on the way outside of Leeds City Centre. I'm just gonna note one of my principles today, which is to be fruitful in areas that are beneficial to your life, and then scarce in areas that are detrimental to your life. So obviously everyone wants to live a perfect life where everything's gonna be beneficial to their life, and in some cases for some really determined people they probably get pretty close to 100% but most normal people who want to live a healthy balanced lifestyle probably have some things in there that are detrimental to their life so for example they go out and have a bite to eat with their friends and it's crap, they're eating crap or go for a drink now and again which can be beneficial in some areas for example, if you want to go out and have fun, but detrimental in others, uh, for example, health. So, the principle basically goes, you've got to get what you want, you've got to have your goals. Um, oh, our rate's just gone past that. So, you've got to get your goals, figure out what you want, try and figure out what you don't. If you can't figure, don't know exactly what you want right now, figure out what you don't want. And then that narrows down what you do want, if you get me. Um, but once you figure out what you want to do, you've got to find out those things that are beneficial for you reaching that goal, or detrimental for you reaching that goal. And try and build a life where it's abundant in things that are beneficial to your life. For example, if you want to hit a target weight in the gym, hit a target muscle mass, then you're gonna to wanna to fill your life with things that are beneficial to this goal. So obviously gym membership, that's crucial. I think that's just a given. But then things that you might not think about, like a, a proper weighing scale, like a bioelectrical impedance weighing scale where you can measure your muscle mass, your fat mass. You can get things like Apple watches, Fitbits, where it tracks how many steps you're doing. So if you wanna lose weight so if you have loads of things that are kind of like reminders the kind of, if you fill your life with these like an abundance of things that are beneficial to your goal not only will it help you reach that goal as an ergogenic aid but it will also be a reminder to not stray away from the goal on the other hand if you're scarce in things that are detrimental to reaching your goal then the distractions aren't going to be there for one so what would be detrimental to reaching a goal a social group that doesn't have the same goals social groups that lead you astray maybe have buying habits so like buying snacks when you go to the supermarket you can kind of fill in the blanks of after you've done some research to find out what's detrimental and what's beneficial and then just then just follow the rule you've got to be abundant in things that are beneficial to your life and scarce in things that are detrimental to your life and that goes through everything whether it's socially health wise family habitual spending your environment your work life you got to set up your life to how you want to be that's pretty much it yeah so just to uh, final finalize these videos are mainly for my own benefit just so I can log my principles somewhere so I can keep referring back to them this video has kind of been a message to my future self the video to get me back on track if I'm straying away and this is quite a crucial rule that's quite simple I think it can be easily implemented and it'll help yourself and myself out in future times so thanks a lot for listening guys I'll catch you later in a new video bye bye